Dirk, some physicists today would tell us that time, which we think is the most obviously a fundamental thing that we have in our world, is really not real. What do you say? In physics, time is often envisioned in spatial terms. It's easiest to picture time as the drawing the timeline and thinking of time as something that is spatial in it. Sense. And I think a lot of the physicists fall victim to this uh, image and think, okay, time is uh, something like space. And if you uh, take uh, general relativity, you have to do it that way. The fourth dimension is not time as such, but is a spatial category mm -hmm. that is derived out of time. And, uh, but it is actually something that is a distance, uh, a spatial distance. So I think that uh, leads some physicists to speak of uh, the irreality or the time of being not real. I would doubt that. I think in, the, in a phenomenal, phenomenological sense, time is real um, insofar as it is uh, the signature of the transitory process that our reality is. So does that mean that, uh, that time has an independent existence or, or time is just the, the measure between uh, events that occur? It's uh, two different ways to yeah. describe it. No, uh, I think time is a complex thing. Uh, time cannot be reduced to uh, the measurement of time. Time is uh, something that uh, is uh, the signature, uh, the, the characteristic of our reality insofar that it makes changes possible, that it leads from one to another thing, uh, that it moves the whole process uh, forward. And I would say it is also not reversible. The spatial image suggests that time is reversible. I think it is not. And some uh, we have some hints in physics and thermodynamics, but also in quantum physics that show that time is not reversible but goes into a certain direction. I think the real uh, important philosophical question is the question um, how is it that we can experience time, that we experience this flow of change as we see it in the world. And uh, the St. Augustine has some, some very deep reflections on that and he asks for the reality of time. He says the past is already gone and isn't anymore. The future is yet to come, it is not yet. Mm -hmm. So where is time? Where is it? The present is just the, the uh, dimensionless point where the future mm -hmm. moves into the past. And uh, So where, where is the re reality of time? So time, in order to be experienced by human beings, has something to do with linking future and past together. And Augustine says this is something we do with our memory that we are beings that have a memory, that move from things that happen towards things that are still to occur. We are bound in a kind of uh, striving and tension process full of tensions. And only uh, because of that we can experience time. And there is the reality of time. The reality of time is the, in the full notion of time, not only measuring uh, distances, time dis distances between events, but in the, f the full notion of time is there in our minds, in our memories. But certainly relativity uh, gives us this sense of space-time that are very much integrated. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the only way one can uh, understand uh, the difference of clocks going at different speeds and the lack of simultaneity in the universe yeah. pending speeds. And, and the shrinking of distances. And so, so there is a deep relationship between time and space. You can't uh, uh, abrogate that. Sure, Th that's for sure. There's a, a, a deep link between it, but uh, it is not so that uh, time then can be reduced to a fourth dimension of space. I mean, uh, Einstein, and Hermann Weyl and other interpreters of uh, general relativity saw it like that. Einstein saw, uh, thought that because we are um, bodies moving with a speed velocity right. lesser than light, we experience past as past and future yes. as future. But if we were not bound to that, yeah, it's just four-dimensional being and no becoming. That's what he said. And I doubt that. And I would say that 
other uh, big parts and disciplines of physics like thermodynamics, like quantum uh, physics, suggest that it is not the whole picture, that what relativity refers to is the measurement of clocks uh, and distances between events, but the full notion of time is more. It has something to do with building up complexities uh, and also with uh, this measurement problem in quantum physics that you have uh, before and after and there is no real trajectory from one to the other. If you had no space, mm -hmm. would you ever have time? I don't think so. I don't think so. And that is the, maybe the interrelation between space and time, that uh, time as such cannot be thought. It is just the change of things that are in space. Yeah, to my conviction. Um, what, I, what I find interesting um, with Augustine is that he sees this connection between past and future um, as something that makes uh, and he's, he calls it a distension, something that is extended, it just is not mm -hmm. point-like. Mm -hmm. So we often envis envision uh, in physics time as something like a point on this uh, uh, time uh, line, but time, if time is extended to a certain extent, if, it has, if we have in our mind something of the past and anticipate something of the future, then time becomes much more complex, the full notion of time. And I think that is where religion comes into play because religion is nothing than an organize, organizing time. Think of prayers, uh, think of services, think of the week, the whole year of seasons and festivals. That is all ordering, structuring of time and trying to get a direction, an intentional move, movement into this tension from the past into the future. And that is what uh, also um, Augustine said, that, that there has to be there is a distension, there is an extension of time, but that also can lead to a kind of dissipation of human mind. We have to um, balance that with an intention. He plays with Latin words. One is distensio, the other is intensio. An intention that brings structure into our lifetime and that lets, let us lead, uh, brings us to lead our lives uh, in such a way uh, that it is related uh, to God himself who is uh, the maker of time. And I think that is what Augustine refers to and that is where the theological interest in time is grounded.